Uh, hi, I'm Josh Normando. I'm a senior here at Hopkinton High School, and I am a sprinter for the track and field team. Hi, I'm John DeYoung. I'm a senior here at Hopkinton High School. Uh, I run the 400 and 4x4. Hi, I'm Michael Cuthbert. I am a senior, and I am uh, on the sprinting group in track, and I run the 100 and the 200 meter. Um, so, I don't know about you guys, but I started as a freshman, actually in seventh grade. Uh, my first year of track in middle school. Um, I guess we started running because I got cut from baseball actually for spring. So I guess it worked out well for me. Um, had a great time here with track. Um, it's been something I you know, really wouldn't change for the world. So uh, yeah, it's been a great experience and I want to thank these guys for it. So I started track uh, my freshman year here at uh, the high school and I had never run track before, but I've always loved running. And I, starting with this team, I found a great group of guys. We're all great friends now, and um, it's been just a really great experience. I, I was running track since middle school, and I really started to focus on track around uh, end of freshman year, spring, sophomore year. And I realized that it's really the sport that I love. After running, especially junior year and senior year, running with these guys has been great. It's always a great time running with everyone, and it's something that I wouldn't miss for the world. So uh, last year was a phenomenal year. We lost a lot of great guys, but I think this year it's going to be a major development year for us. We have a lot of guys coming up, including the freshman class. I think there are two, about a dozen, maybe 20, close to 20 freshmen. So this year we're really trying to kind of elevate our game off of last year, kind of step to the next level, so to speak. Um, we're all right now some of the best shape we've ever been in and we just hope to kind of use that to our fullest potential, uh, put a maximum effort in like we've always done and just see what we can make of the year. So uh, this year and as well as last year we've had a lot of depth on the team and uh, the depth on our team is really good because it even like freshmen are placing in events and we know that they're working really hard as well as uh, in the preseason we had a lot of kids show up to um, pr uh, get ready for the actual regular season. And now we have a lot of uh, kids who are very devoted to the team, and it should be a really good season with all of them. Right now, for a lot of training, before the season starts and before we get our first meet going, we want to do a lot of conditioning, get ready for the season. These, Especially these first two weeks, we really want to get in really good shape so that we're prepared for the first meet. And right now, especially, we're teaching a lot of the uh, younger kids, like the freshmen, sophomores, uh, handoffs for the relay groups. And we're preparing everyone for the future meets. It's my last season. Um, I really hope to do well in the 400 hurdles. Um, and I also want to, in general, I hope our team can go 6-0 um, and or 7-0. and How many do we have this season? But yeah, 6-0. Six, uh, six and oh, and um, and another personal goal of mine would to be obviously to qualify for states. Uh, so a personal goal of mine is kind of since sophomore year to break the school record of 50.09 seconds. Um, so the kind of the goal is sub 50. It's always kind of a coveted number for all us 400 meter guys. Very true. And to kind of break that is uh, something I've looked forward to for a long, long time. This year, my main goal is I haven't been able to get in the 100 lately, so I want to get in some more 100 times this year, possibly break the school record, and also work on my 200 time. My goal this year is to get a national time so I can go to nationals, and I've been working for it, and that's been my goal for a long time, and this year I hope I can achieve it. Uh, yeah, I've been coaching here for this is my 22nd year of coaching here, so it's been fun. Um, good team this year. We've got uh, some good seniors returning. Um, they're in good shape. They, uh, they, a lot of, most of them did uh, winter, so they're coming out of a good winter season and uh, they're in good shape now. It's, uh, weather's been a little tricky, but uh, we've been working around it. They're, they're willing to do whatever we ask them to do, and that's, that's good. Um, got a lot of young guys coming up too, and they're, they're great uh, role models for those guys. They're working really hard, and the kids, you can tell just by looking at the faces of those younger kids that they're, they're impressed with, uh, with the hard work that those guys do. So. Yeah, early going. It's a real short uh, preseason. You know, you go and you got two weeks to get to get yourself up to speed. Um, so we've been working on some a little bit of general conditioning, but we can really start doing a couple of fast workouts. I usually have to wait a little while, but these guys have been in, in good shape for a while, as uh, as most of them came in from the winter. So 
So a little bit of everything. There's some extra events outdoors that they don't have indoors. So uh, the throw guys uh, had a good, good, some good impact uh, this winter in the in the shot. Now there's two more throwing events for them, so they're playing catch up in that area. Um, but everybody's kind of in the same boat in terms of other teams. So that's that's pretty much the norm.